From waiting years to recover from his leg injury, to getting totally jacked, and returning to the USADA testing pool, The Notorious is more than ready to make his return to the UFC. But Dana White revealed that Conor McGregor won't be part of UFC 302. Uh, no. If, if, if when Conor's ready to fight, you know we'll announce it. Scheduled for June 29th, 2024. Or will he? Come on, let's talk about Conor McGregor's biggest comeback that no one's ready for, especially not Dana. McGregor has been eagerly awaiting his comeback for a while now, particularly targeting Michael Chandler in the middleweight division following his injury in July 2021 against Dustin Poirier. He apparently has his mojo back, and 2024 might just be the time to bring it back. McGregor has talked about his eagerness for a grand return, claiming it would be the greatest of all time, with plans to make the announcement during Las Vegas' International Fight Week. But despite McGregor's excitement, White has now said that he won't be returning anytime soon. McGregor has been teasing a potential showdown with Chandler for a while now, hoping to ignite a rivalry with aims for a fight in June. But White still says he has no specific date for McGregor's return, leaving fans wondering about McGregor's next move. His last big win was against Donald Cerrone, when he made his last big return from injury, when there were some concerns about McGregor's absence from the octagon after a leg fracture in July 2021. And despite his recovery and returning to training, McGregor still needed to re-enroll in the UFC's drug testing pool, causing even more delays in his comeback. Dana's reluctance to let McGregor make a comeback. With all the rumors about McGregor's opponent upon his return, both he and White insisted it would be with Chandler. White even hinted at a meeting with McGregor in the Middle East to finalize the comeback plans. And we all know how McGregor loves to hype up his fans, so he teased a New Year's Day announcement. But the UFC has just been teasing the fight, and his announcement still has everybody uncertain about his return. More importantly, McGregor's last fight was at lightweight, two weight classes below middleweight, where he has never competed before. Despite initial plans to headline UFC 300, McGregor and Chandler could potentially target the annual International Fight Week instead. It appears McGregor's upcoming fight is on the horizon because he's already disclosed the fight's date and venue for his anticipated return. Chandler has even jumped into verbal exchanges before the fight. Chandler and McGregor's online beef. Following the fight confirmation, Chandler told everyone that he's ready for this fight, saying that competing at 185 pounds would put him at an advantage. He even has a strategy to knock out McGregor within two rounds, thanks to the confidence he's gained while training in Florida. But Conor McGregor still continues to mess with Chandler on social media, even though Chandler keeps trying to claim that he's the stronger fighter. So, as you might imagine, McGregor's really excited to return to the octagon against him in the middleweight division. He's even pointed out that, despite having fought in the welterweight division previously, Chandler is considered one of the smaller fighters in the 155-pound weight class of the UFC. While some fans think that McGregor is trying to tip the scales in his favor strategically by making Chandler bulk up, Chandler himself insists that he's perfectly comfortable competing at 185 pounds. He also thinks that he's stronger than McGregor, regardless of his weight. He's been sharing his perspective on his YouTube channel constantly and talking about his intention to maintain his current weight and training to perform just as well at 185 pounds as he did at 155 pounds. Chandler's comments have been poking McGregor for a response on Twitter, but all he responded with were laughing emojis, followed by a side-by-side -side image comparing their sizes at 185 pounds. Is Chandler versus McGregor possible? Now, since Dana hasn't really confirmed the date or weight class for McGregor's return, so McGregor might just make his comeback at UFC 302 this summer. Or if the UFC has other plans for their superstar, they might do something even bigger with him. In fact, Chandler hasn't even heard about any potential upcoming fight, but he's still ready for it because it's the fight he's been preparing for. Even in 2023, both Chandler and McGregor were announced as opposing coaches on the UFC's reality TV series, The Ultimate Fighter, which means this is the perfect fight for both of them, especially since both of them have lost to Poirier. McGregor fought three times since his controversial bout with Habib Nurmagomedov in 2018, with a return in 2020, defeating Donald Cerrone in the 170-pound division and becoming the first fighter to achieve knockouts in three weight classes, featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight. 
but he too faced consecutive losses against Poirier, which is why Dana isn't so keen on letting him back in the octagon so easily. Despite that, Dana still continues to say that McGregor has the power to decide when to return to the octagon, emphasizing that all his wealth and opportunities outside of fighting put all the weight of his comeback on him. But McGregor thinks that Dana is delaying his UFC comeback. Will Dana ever set a date? Conor McGregor has been pressing the UFC to nail down a date for his much-awaited return fight against Michael Chandler. Despite being announced over a year ago, the former two-weight world champion hasn't fought in over two and a half years now. Besides, both McGregor and Chandler are eager to fight each other after all the trash talk and coaching against each other on Season 31 of The Ultimate Fighter. Now, despite McGregor initially announcing a June 29 fight with Chandler to headline the International Fight Week, White dismissed these claims. McGregor even went as far as to vent on Instagram, pleading the UFC to get the date set. And it seemed like it worked because his comeback has taken a step forward as he submitted his first drug test samples under the UFC's new anti-doping program, Drug Free Sport. Meanwhile, Chandler, who hasn't fought in over a year, is eager to face McGregor and hopes to retire him in the process. Chandler is fully intending to finish McGregor within the first two rounds and say farewell to the UFC's biggest star. The Irishman's impatience is wearing thin. With McGregor growing impatient and Chandler eager to step into the cage, the delay in confirming their fight risks frustrating him and his fans even more. In fact, McGregor said that he's getting very impatient with the UFC during a talk sport interview, hinting that he might consider boxing Manny Pacquiao if his MMA career continues to stall. During the Day of Reckoning event, alongside boxing stars Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, McGregor said that he's eager to return to action. And with the lack of comments about his return from the UFC and the hype around his potential fight with Pacquiao in Saudi Arabia, the UFC has to give him a fight, or he just might transition to another sport entirely. Not to mention the fact that his return has been delayed multiple times now. Despite McGregor being unhappy with the UFC, he hasn't responded directly to White's comments. However, there's a rumor that his comments may indeed push him towards considering another boxing match. Will the Notorious make a comeback to boxing instead? McGregor first dipped his toes into boxing with his famous fight against Floyd Mayweather in 2017, where he earned over $100 million despite losing. Ever since then, he's gotten a bunch of other opportunities to box, so naturally, he wouldn't think twice before returning to the ring. His eagerness to get back into competition is clear from his social media updates on his training progress. Having recovered from a leg injury and re-entered the drug testing program, McGregor is more than ready for a comeback. He even hinted at headlining the historic USC 300 event on April 17, which has all of his fans excited. His back and forth with Chandler and their willingness to face each other in the octagon only have people guessing what's going to happen next. With UFC 300 being talked about as a major event and International Fight Week in June offering a prime stage, there's plenty of rumors about potential matchups. And despite hopes for a McGregor comeback in April being dismissed, the absence of a headline fight for UFC 300 presents an opportunity for the promotion to make their next big announcement and potentially about McGregor's return. It looks like Dana is using this uncertainty to build up hype and get people excited about McGregor's return. So when, after all the rumors, it all does tie together, it ends up being one of the biggest fights in UFC history, just like McGregor's always wanted. But the question is, do you think McGregor is going to make his biggest comeback to the UFC? Or will his impatience push him towards a career in boxing? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.